Hello and uh, welcome to free.net tutorials. This is Emmanuel Mindu. In this video, we will see how to design a calculator using bb.net. So you see a calculator, my calculator, how it looks. Okay, it's look good, right? We gonna design this calculator now using our bb.net. So let's open our new project here. Let's create a new project. Let's select VB Windows application, form application, and name it as calculator. Or okay, so I press OK. So you see a form here. Like this is your size of your calculator. Let's run and see how it looks now. So okay, somewhat little bit smaller than our real calculator so it's it looks similar but you see option here and the name and symbol okay the let's let's go and uh, change our okay uh, what I did is I downloaded one calculator here from our Google so let's copy our calculator one calculator picture and copy it and paste it in your project folder in your solution explorer so that you got a calculator picture here let's go to our project properties of our form and you see a icon here like our form icon Oops. and uh, you see our calculator here let's go to our forms properties and icon and uh, you see an icon here so you just double click on it and close it and now just maximize little bit and run our form project so you see our form calculator and the real time calculator it's almost similar so let's let's go, go ahead and create our buttons and all these things and okay so before that thing let's go and go to our properties and there will be like some like minimize box minus maximize box just false so that you won't see this option now it won't maximize now okay okay so let's go and drag a, a test box okay you can increase the size of your test box like 50 and uh, link is your font also let's increase our font to 16 and you see our text box is ready so let's drag and drop our buttons We need nine boxes, so let's put on. I'm sorry, let's put it clearly so it's look like our and three here, two boxes here. Uh, yep, and three. let me pass it so it's ready now let's put it like this so it looks somewhat a calculator and I need let's go to our properties of one and change it change the test of, of button one as one and two as two and three of the text is three fourth button as four Fifth, what another six? Fifth. 
and uh, now it's ready for our running purpose now when i run it you see a good calc calculator but when i press one two three buttons it should appear here so let's write a code for that before that let's drag our drag and drop for our this for plus sign and this is for minus and this is for division and let's take this for equal to and change our properties here like plus minus and division and equal to okay so we need a point symbol here where is the text here yep point and the button for let's take a big thing for our zero okay so hence uh, our calculator or design part is finished so let's see how how it appears when i run the program okay it look very nice okay so when i click on one it should appear one right so let's create you just double click on your one button here you see a code window here like button one click event so for that let's do what i'll do is let's try text text box one dot text equal to button one dot text okay so let me run our program when i click on one you see oh one oops yeah we got it so let's run again and click on one 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 no so if you want to add so let's copy this and paste it here and let's add the two strings so when I run the program now, when I click on one, you see it's continuous. But I didn't write the code for seven eight nine. Let me write that. Let me pass this. Okay, what I did is I added all the numbers here. Let's go and run our program now. Now you see when I click one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero point equal to division minus plus it's working right so let's let's uh, let's see the application part how to add this in our next part of this video see you then bye bye